All right, let's study set theory. Of course, set theory is a study of sets, but what is a set? A set is a collection of distinguishable elements. So this term, distinguishable, is important. For example, this is an example of a set which consists of three numbers, one, two, three. Okay, but this is not a set. You know, this is a collection of four numbers, but two of them, this one and this one, are not distinguishable. They are the same. So this is not a set. Not a set. This is a set. Okay. So uh, these are two examples. And can have uh, something other than numbers. So this is a set of two outcomes of coin flipping and so on. Okay, let's say S is a set. So S is some, something like this or this, or not, not this one, this then if x is an element of s, then we write like this. So x is an element of set s, or x belongs to set s. Okay. When x is not an element, then we write x is not an element of s. Okay, so this is just like not equal, but uh, instead of equal sign, we use this set element sign. Or we can say x is in s. Okay. So this one means not in S. Again, let's say, let's take this example. In this case, one is in this set. And two is in this set, three is in this set, but for example, five is not in this set. Okay, and heads is in this set. But uh, heads and tails, let's say bellies is not in this set. Okay. All right. Suppose S is a set. Then the cardinality of this set is the number of elements in this set. So this means cardinality. S, which means number of elements.
for example again let's take this example there are three numbers therefore the cardinality of this set is 3 easy let's say this set is okay let's pick n which is a set of all natural numbers all natural numbers then the cardinality of this set n is infinity and let's say this is a set of all real numbers Then what's the cardinality of this? This is also infinity, but uh, this infinity and this infinity are both infinity, but they are actually different. That we will study later. Now, there is a special set called the empty set. As this name suggests, it's a set that contains nothing. Okay, not it contains nothing. And we write, we denote empty set by this. So this is zero and slash empty set. Of course, since it contains nothing, it doesn't it doesn't have any elements, so the cardinality of the empty set is 0. Let's say S is a set, and also A is a set, another set. If for all elements of A, they belong to S also, then we say A is a subset of S. And we write A is a subset of S, like this. And according to this definition, you will find that S is a subset of itself, right? So if we have two sets, A and B, ah, oh, sorry, A and B, and if A is a subset of B, and B is a subset of A, then in that case, we say sets A and B are equal. So we use this equal sign for sets. You know, this is not equal sign for numbers, but it's an equal sign for two sets. Okay. When we want to say A is a proper subset of S, then, you know, if A is a subset of S, but A is not equal to S. Then we say A is a proper subset of S, so we write like this. A is a proper subset of S. say S is a set again, then the set of all subsets of S is called the power set of S. Okay, so the power set of S is 
the set of all subsets of S. Okay. Let's see some example. If S is a set of H and T, heads and tails, then how many subsets are there? Actually, empty set is a subset of any set. So empty set is a subset. And a set, the set of only one element, H, is a subset of S. And similarly, set of only t is a subset. And set of all elements of S, that is S itself, is a subset of S. This is actually S. And there are no other subsets for this case. Okay, So the power set is the set of all these subsets, this, 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 this. So we write like this, this, this subset, this subset, and this subset. So this is a set of sets. Okay, and we write like 2 to the power of s, or we can write P of S. So this stands for power sets. Okay? So this is bold two. Number two. Why two? Okay. There are two elements in this case, and the power set contains four elements. If we try a power set of, for example, let's say A is A, B, C, three elements, the power set of A is empty set A, B, C, A, B, uh, B, C, C A and A B C. Anything else? No. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight elements. So the cardinality of this power set is eight. The cardinality of this power set was 4. So, do you see the pattern? The cardinality of S was 2, then the cardinality of its power set was 4. And cardinality of the power uh, set A was 3 and the cardinality of its power set was 8, and so on. So 2 to 4, 3 to 8, and so on. Actually, if there are, if set x contains n elements, then its power set will have 2 to the power of n elements. You should try it. So that's why we use 2.